This is code.org. Let's see what we're up to. Sprite scenes. It's time to put everything together to make a fun scene. Take a look at this example and think about what you'd like to make. Sketch it out. Before moving on, take a second to sketch out a scene that you'd like to make in this lesson. Consider simple shapes. Uh-huh. In the past and your characters. Text. Yeah, we have a lot that we can do. Is there anything you still need to learn to do? Are there any skills to review? Oh, yeah. What kind of music do planets sing? Neptunes. Ah. All right. Cool. Let's take a look at what we're starting with. Okay. Create your background. First, make the background of your scene, either with shapes, commands, or sprites. So we have a lot of options here. If we wanted to do a background color, for instance, I would go ahead and do drawing background. And we do want to do this first because we want the background behind everything. So let's say, I don't know, I wanted my background blue. Run. Blue. Okay. Now, what else did they say? Uh, we could use shapes as well. Sure. Maybe I want blue, but I need a huge circle for some reason. I, I don't know. I didn't really think this out. And then hit. Boom. I got a big circle. If I want to color that in circle, I got to drop fill ab above the circle. Right. And now with ellipses, remember, if you're doing that, you would want X, Y is the location. So right now it's centered at 200, 200, dead center of the screen. 400 is the size. So I could do 100 for the width and 200 for the height. And now I got this oval thing, right? Or if we wanted to do a sprite, which is what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to head to animation, going to hit the plus, and I want a desert. Click. Right. And I'll leave that as is. So I'm headed back to code. And now that I have a sprite, I'm going to drag out variable. I'm going to drag out set animation. And of course, if we have a sprite, I do need to draw that sprite. So I'm going to name my sprite background because this is the background. And now I need to write this as background. I wanted to start right at the center. That seems to make sense to me. And then let me pick desert road. Boom. Cool. So we have our background. What's this say? Redefined. Oh, background's a reserved word. So let's say uh, scene. Scene's probably reserved. Uh, I'm going to call this a wall or, nah, scene might not be reserved. Scene. Scene. We could also do something like backdrop. A reserved word means that it's used in the structure of the programming language. Cool. All right. That looks to be working well. All right. Let's see what the next step is. Got me a background. With your background in place, it's time to add your sprites. Add or create all of your sprite animations in the animation tab. Okay. So this is the fun part. Here's my background. To add sprites again, I click animation. And I'm going to go ahead and click plus. Let's see what we got. I will use a, a hippo. What else am I going to use? And a... Our hippo is going to have a friend who is definitely this robot. Cool. That's looking good. So I have a hippo and a robot. And let me hit run. Yep. Okay. That's fine. So now make sure I already have sprites here. I'm going to do this. I already have a sprite variable and a set animation. So I'm going to go ahead and add another sprite. Oops. Sprites right here. Notice draw sprite needs to be under this. Otherwise, it doesn't get drawn. Right now, this is just a gray blob, which makes sense. We haven't set the animation, so I need a set animation. I'm going to go ahead and drag out each of these blocks that I need. Right. And so what did I have? A hippo and robot? Hippo is going to be hippo, hippo. And let me hit this down arrow, select the animation, robot, and robot. Now, they're all going to be stacked on each other right now. Whoop. Okay, so I'm going to want to change their X, Y location. So create sprite, keep in mind, is X and Y are these numbers. If you're not sure where to put them, you can use the grid. I can also hover over with the mouse right down here. You'll see the X, Y coordinates. And it's from the center of a sprite. So I might do 100, 300, and then 300 for X, 300 
see. They're still too big, but we can fix that now. Okay, so I have huge sprites. Thankfully, we learned all about scale. So I'm just going to make sure to put it under the variable, right, and under set animation. It just is a good way to go. So robot.scale. Now, one is 100%. Two would be 200% the size, right? But I need them smaller. So I'm going to do 0 0.5, and that would be 50% as big. That's looking better already. And I'm going to do the same thing for my hippo up here under hippo. We're going to change the scale property. That's what this is called. And so I need to type hippo, and it's hippo.scale. And let's do, I'm going to try 50% for my hippo. <laughs> okay, that is looking awesome. Is that what it was saying? Draw all the sprites on the screen. Okay. And yes, I think we got that. And we changed their properties, right? I changed their scale. Just make sure you have draw sprites under. Also notice the background thing, my backdrop is at the top. Because if it wasn't, if I put my hippo at the top, I just killed me a hippo. Because the hippo suffocated under the backdrop. It's there, we just can't see it. So the first thing is what is going to be pushed out to the screen first. All right, next part of the yields. Continue. Create text for your scene. The final piece of your scene is to add text. Add text to your project. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to actually add a shape, like a word bubble first. So I'm going to do drawing, and I'm going to do an ellipse. Boom. And this is going to be huge, 400, 400. So I'm going to do 300 for width and 150 for height. And if you ever forget X, Y, right? This is the location. So that's located in the center of the screen, width and height. And I know it's the center because right there. Yep. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, the sprites are drawn on top of it. I have to have this below draw sprites if, it, I, want it, if I want it on top of the sprites. All right. I'm going to use fill now because I want this to be white. I'm going to have it be like a word bubble thing. Yep. And I guess 150 is too tall. And I think I'm going to move this up. So 0y is up here. So maybe 100y. Oh, I guess 150y. Cool. And now I want my text. Now that I have all that. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out my text here. Boop. And I'm going to say, you won't ever starve in the desert, period. Now, if I hit run, it's going to be white and way up here in the corner. That's because a fill white is going to apply to everything until I change it. So I don't want to fill it white. I'm going to have it be eh, red. And now I don't want it up in the corner. It's up in the corner because this here is X and this here is Y, right? X, Y. So text starts from its top left. And again, if you look at the numbers here, I'm going to put my mouse over the screen. 100 and 130 for Y. So let's try that. 100 X and 130 for Y. And it's red. I want to change the size. So now, I, and remember, you have to put it above because the computer right now is going to grab red paint on line 12 and then write it. If I put red below it, it's going to go ahead and write what we have. We can't see it because it's white on white. And then it grabs red paint. It does everything in order. So I want it to grab some red paint first, then write the stuff. Boom. All right. Text size. I want it to be larger than that. So let me see. And text size has to be above it too. I need to tell the computer how big before the computer is going to write it. Otherwise, it won't work. Maybe 14, I guess. I am liking that. All right. So what you won't ever starve in the desert. And now I'm going to have some more text. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out text. Now I don't need to do size again unless I wanted a different size because right now the settings for the computer are red text size 14. So this will be red in size 14. So will this line be unless we change it. It will also be red in 14. So I'm going to make it try. Well, I'm going to try to make it seem like the hippo responds. Um, why big, wait, no, no, is that because all of the sand, which is there, ah, uh, yeah, you, you get it, you get it, you get it, okay, uh, run, 
and it's way up here. I don't want that. I'm going to force it to go down uh, 150, maybe. Oh, that's X. 100, 150. Okay. I'm going to delete some of the words so it fits. All right. That's looking pretty good to me. I'm going to push it down a bit more with my Y variable or my Y property because of all this sand, which is there. And maybe to make it seem like someone else is definitely reading this, I'll have the text color a different fill. So I'll say blue. Ta-da! And I have a fancy, fancy scene. Cool. See how quickly all that we have learned comes together? Things you definitely want to remember, code always runs in order. So the first thing you put is going to be the first thing the computer puts on the screen. If I were to put draw sprites up here, if I were to move it, I didn't want to do that. If I were to move draw sprites, then it wouldn't show all the sprites. I have to tell it every sprite to draw and then ask it to draw. I have to tell it what color to use, then ask it to paint. I have to tell it what text size to use, then ask it to do the text. Pretty cool. Onward. But uh, I'm most proud of the text. So review your scene, ask your neighbor, take the, make them look at it, um, and get other people's input. Really, really go all out on this. It's a, it's a fun activity, and it's meant to be awesome.